showtime. So y'all, I watched Wrath of Man. Mucha, did you get a chance to see that? No, what is it on? On the stick. I mean, if you have a fire stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's on there. Um, okay. I'm watching it again uh, today to prepare for my review. But I'm just going to talk about it here because I enjoyed it. And there's no spoilers, of course. You know, I don't do spoilers on my movie reviews. I only do spoilers on my recaps of okay. the movie. Right. Right. So, um, you know how Guy Ritchie has a distinctive directing style. He's he's, he's like, the one that just snatched and stuff, right? Yes, yes. I like him. So he has a distinctive, he's like up there with the Quentin Tarantino's, the Martin Scorsese's. Like when you're watching one of his movies, you know. So right. the Zack Snyder's, the Spike Lee, and stuff like that. I like this one because it it still had his signature on it, but it kind of didn't. Like both of like, you know, because it they, wasn't like you saw a new side of him. Yes, it was a new and for Jason Statham. He's not playing his usual person. Right. You know, he's a killer for sure. But it was it was different. So that's what I could say. Like this pairing, again, it's not like the Guy Ritchie and the Jason Statham that you're used to. So right. in a good way to me. And I like the direction style. It was kind of telling two stories that kind of met up in the middle and told the, the whole outcome. It was, I love the way they did that because it kind of, you know, it was non-linear. So we kind of see a portion of it um, play out and then you go back and see a different vantage point from the other side. So it was it was really good. I, I enjoyed it. it. The only thing that it really lacked for me was the script. Like the dialogue was non-existent almost. Like I didn't even feel like these it was people. more action and, and less talking. Right. I was like, I don't even think that Jason Statham said five minutes worth of words in a two-hour movie. Like I I, I want to see how much action is. If he kicking butt like that, then I want to see it because I like I like when he be fighting. Right. <laughs> when yeah. he fights and when he be driving like his, the, the the driving stunts and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep, and yes, he uses the same actors in his film. Did y'all like? Did y'all watch The Gentleman? That that was one of my favorite movies of two thousand or two thousand twenty. I think it was nineteen. Okay, one of my favorite. That movie was so freaking good. It was so hilarious too. It was it was funny. The Vanish Point least. Okay, okay, I can't even remember. Movie, we got that from the trailers. If you watch the trailer, you know it's similar to a revenge movie, and it was a heist movie too. So that's what I was saying. It was so like two stories like converging, and it was just like explosive when you get down to the nitty gritty. And it was it was real gritty. It was you know heist movies, all that gunplay. I mean, all right, so it's something to check out. Yeah, something to check. And what's the name of the movie again, Nita? Wrath of Man. Wrath of Man. Okay. Yeah. So I I'm gonna go look at the trailer. I'm gonna I'm gonna see what's up with it. And um, I want to check it out. <laughs> but yeah. So what about what about rating? I guess I'll rate it. It's not. In the caliber of four, but I I think I can still give it like a three, a solid three and a half for entertainment value. And you know, I've seen people being split down the middle about it. It's it's divisive. Sometimes, like when you deal with um these um some of these distinctive style directors, their movies are divisive. They got a fan base that love it, and then a fan base that hates it. So I'm thinking we're still going to get the same type of response to this. Right. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's my review on um, 
Wrath of Man is, is still in theaters. We went to go see it in theaters last week. And it was good. It was worth the trip to the movies. I'm going to check it out. I think we were in there with four other people. <laughs> it was really empty. I'm scared to go to the movies. It, it's empty. It's empty. Girl, I'm going to restaurants. I'm. It's more people in the grocery store. It's more people in the grocery So... I, I go to the movies all the time because people, I know because I'll be calling you and you be saying you in the movie. <laughs> and I'm going on Thursday to see um, A Quiet Place 2. I had tickets for Moochie. I hope I wish that she could have went to the uh, early screen. I got early screening in New York and I just couldn't. I mean, if it was early in the day, I would have went. Yeah, because then you could make the drive then and drive back to New York. Exactly, exactly. So I can't, yeah. Wear your mask, because even when you go to restaurants, you're sitting away from people, and you're taking your mask off. So at the same yeah, time, I still with my mask. you're still out there, and you're still eating. So it's, uh, I get it. It's not the same thing to me. And like I said, if it's only four or five of us, and we're like far apart from each other, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm fine. So I'm definitely back at the movies, full throttle. I got my AMC pass back. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll hear that. Anything else y'all want me? First up on the Diva recommendation list is Guy Ritchie's The Gentleman. I really enjoyed that movie. Then we have a heist movie called The Town with Ben Affleck. And then we have Hard to Kill with Steven Seagal, A Revenge Tale. If you like Wrath of Man, you'll like these.